Where do you begin with a match reaction after that? United 1, Chelsea 3. Humiliation, I'd probably call that. Chelsea through to the FA Cup final. David De Gea. What has happened to David De Gea? I understand players having blips and small moments of madness, but this has been a consistent and long downfall from what was the world's best goalkeeper at one point. But David De Gea there at fault, not completely at fault, but in part for all three goals. The first goal, Giroud, I think he could have got a stronger hand to it. The second goal was all De Gea's fault. And the third goal, I think De Gea could have got a stronger foot to it. Would be harsh for me to say that all three goals were David De Gea's fault because they weren't. Lindelof in the first goal, what the hell was he doing? Maguire scoring the own goal. He's trying to stop Rudiger. But United there. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer clearly didn't think that his players were capable to play the full 90 minutes. We switched the system. We went three at the back with two wing backs. And the idea clearly was to try and kill the first, first, first sorry, 45 minutes. And right until the end of the first half, we did it. But then the Giroud goal for me was the beginning of the end of the game. That was when United lost it. And we were 2-0 down within one minute of the second half. De De Gea was completely at fault for that. Completely. And I really question whether De Gea is done at United. Dean Henderson has been knocking on the door in the last couple of years, coming up with Sheffield United and having a consistent improvement at Sheffield United in the Premier League this season. Is now the time to cash in on De Gea and bring Dean Henderson in? Somebody who wants to play for United and clearly is going to become a great goalkeeper over the years. Let me know what you think about that. But Sergio Romero normally plays the FA Cup games. Solskjaer changed his tactic in that sense and went for De Gea. And it massively, massively backfired. But United, as I said, we went with the system today for Solskjaer. And it didn't work for him. It's worked before against City and Chelsea this season. And the 2-0s that we've had against them. Where we sat back, hit on the counter and it's worked. But today the players were tired. Every single player underperformed, some more than most. Lindelof, Maguire, I think Williams was quite poor. wan Matic. I think Matic against teams that sort of sit deeper and he can come forward with it, Matic is great. Matic in a, in a, in a game where United are being pressed, questionable whether he is the right midfielder in that situation. But he wasn't the only one. Fred. Sorry, not Matomane. Pogba, when he came on. Fernandez, he might have got the goal towards the end, but it wasn't the spark that we normally see from Fernandez. Rashford, Martial, Dan James. It almost felt like we were playing with 10 men for the majority of that game. Every man to a tee underperformed and Solskjaer's tactics did not work. And it, I don't think... Look, Chelsea played very well. They pressed with intensity and they clearly... Exposed the weaknesses that United gave them. And we set up to try and stifle them rather than play our own system of football. And I think that's because the players were tired rather than Solskjaer simply wanting to completely switch up the system. And the fact that 60 minutes into the game, we're playing our normal 4-3-3 goes to show that is the case. Have we been completely fit? The two days rest, I think that's probably what Solskjaer is going to mention. The fact that Chelsea had two days extra than United, but it's not the reason we lost, but it certainly contributed it. I think it contributed to the idea that we changed our tactics because of that, and it allowed Chelsea to be a little bit fresher and sharper. And the fact that they pressed us for the full 90 minutes goes to show that that did play its part. But that's not the end of the season. You know, the best bit of football that was played today was Spurs beating Leicester 3-0. United now are in complete control of our top four destiny. Beat West Ham... As we should be beating West Ham and fucking David Moyes at Old Trafford on Wednesday, the top four is ours to lose. It really, really is. And we've been given that opportunity, thank you very much, Jose Mourinho, by Spurs' 3-0 win today. But that was an opportunity today to get to the FA Cup final, face Arsenal, and then maybe have the Europa League and the top four to go to. That's been taken away from us. And the, the, the sheer humiliation of the defeat and I suppose the... the crashing back down to earth reality check that that performance was will take some momentum out of our sales so that different questions will be asked going into the West Ham game that weren't asked in the past few games and De Gea he's the headline for me in that game you know I can really understand a player having a bad patch form happens in football they say you know 
Form is temporary and class is permanent. It almost seems like this blip from De Gea is permanent in the United shirt. Like his head's already left United and he's already back in Spain mentally. I don't know what has happened to David De Gea, but that is not the goalkeeper that's won our player of the year. What, three, four times? I don't know how many times he's won it. That's how many times he's won it. But that is not that goalkeeper. Too many mistakes consistently happening. And in a game, in an FA Cup match where Solskjaer normally plays Romero, he played De Gea, who was arguably man of the match against Crystal Palace in the last game, and goes and does that. That's not the reason we lost, but had De Gea been on form, we wouldn't have conceded the goals that we did, and it may have been a completely different game. But United were tired, the tactics didn't work, the substitutions didn't change the game, every player underperformed. I can't even think of a positive from that game, other than the fact that Bruno Fernandes' penalty was lovely. But 3-1, United are out of the FA Cup. The season doesn't depend on the success of the FA Cup. It depends on us getting into the top four and the Europa League. If we can finish this season with the Europa League and a top four finish, it's still a very successful season. But just the sheer humiliation that we got there against the Chelsea side that we've beaten in our last four times we played them. We've only conceded one goal in those four games. To play like that, it was Sunday League defending, Sunday League goalkeeping. Just a Sunday League performance from everybody. And I'm not sure De Gea is going to be able to recover from that performance and the fallout that that will cause because it's not just once or twice or three or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mistakes he's making. This hasn't been De Gea for the best part of two years now. And at what point do you say enough is enough? For me, maybe that point has happened today. But let me know what you think in the comments below. United losing 3-1 to Chelsea out of the FA Cup. Let's forget about that game. And I'm glad that we've got West Ham and only a few days so we can really bury that result because that was nothing short of abysmal.